Hey, welcome back. So today our we're continuing our topic. What was our series name? Cinderella's Royal Table. Yes, on Cinderella's Royal Table. First of all, we're going to address the elephant in the room, and that is the fact that yes, we are playing around with a green screen, and we know it's not perfect. And we Chris, know I wore the wrong color shirt today. <laughs> and we know that done is better than perfect. So we're going to roll with it. And we hope you will roll with us. And we are talking today about the cost of Cinderella's Royal Table. And not just the financial cost, but the time cost as well. And dining plan as well. If you're interested about learning about the cost of Cinderella's Royal Table, give us a thumbs up. How much, Christina, how much is it going to cost if I have, we're all adults, we're going to... Royal table. Okay, well, breakfast starts for adults around $60, and dinner can go up to $80. Up to. Now, why did you say up to? There's a range depending on what time of year you're going. They change the price. So, if there's more people coming, then it's going to be cheaper because there's more people filling up tables, right? I think you're actually backwards on that, Dawn. <laughs> The more popular it is, the higher they jack up the price, uh -huh. so less people will go. Supply and demand! Yep. Got us again! Capitalism. Darn it. Darn that capitalism! <laughs> um, so you said breakfast is it's, what? It's they can go start at what? Right around $60. So if I'm going at the quietest time. And just going for breakfast. 60 59 and change. For adults? Yes. Is that tax out the door? You asked the hard questions, Don. Let me check my little <laughs> my little app over here. That does include tax and gratuity. Okay, well that's all right. So it includes gratuity and when you're comparing it to other table services, it doesn't include gratuity. So actually I can kind of I can work with that. Okay, so is Cinderella's royal table a all you can eat or is it a one for breakfast? That's good. I, it is, I mean, that's a good point because um, it's still, it's... Because, yeah, because I'm thinking the price is, like, comparable to a buffet, but at Cinderella's Royal Table, don't they, it's just, like, one and done? You make a good point, though. So, it's, in, it's comparable to buffets, but it's not actually a buffet. You order one mm. from each category. Yes. That, that's a very good point. So, you have to judge that when you're figuring it out. Now, what if... What if some of my party is children, although we know that it was it, eight? Eight is the oldest child as far as Disney's concerned? Nine. It's three to nine. Oh, it is three to nine. It's three to nine. Oh, I thought it was nine and up was the adult prices. It's ten and up. So, when you're celebrating that big double digit birthday. <laughs> you're an adult according <laughs> to Disney. So, be ready for that adult pricing to kick in. Kids are like... $35 for breakfast all the way up to $47 for dinner. What about discounts? You can use Tables in Wonderland and the Pass Holder. And there's one more, isn't DVC? there? DVC? Yeah, maybe. Yes, the DVC. And those <laughs> are 10% for DVC, 10% for Pass Holder, and 20% for Tables in Wonderland. Oh, that could be a lot. Mm -hmm. All right, so that sounds good. So, um, so I think... That covers all of the out-of-pocket costs, right? Oh, if you want the discount, I do know this, because we, we had an annual pass holder, and you pay for full in advance, and then you give them your card when you're there, and you get a refund. Now, I read an article recently that they said they called back later, and they refunded their money ahead of time. Oh, so maybe it was just that I didn't know. Maybe. Because while we were there, I was like, oh! By the way. So if you're a pass holder, make your reservation and then ask them. And if you still are not sure how to get that reservation because you've heard how hard it is to get. Well, Click right here. We've got a video to tell you how. Dawn, yeah. what about the Disney dining plan? Is it worth two dining credits? Two dining credits. Two dining credits. Let me think of the math. 
All right. See. So two dining credits. If I were going to let's say, if you were paying out of pocket for Disney dining plan, if I'm paying out of pocket. For, how much is the dining plan? I don't remember. It's around seventy five dollars a person per day. So for dinner, that equals about forty one dollars according to wdwprepschool.com. And actually, they do have a really, really great breakdown of how much all your credits are worth. And we're going to link that below because I've never seen anybody that provides that kind of level of detail. If you know somebody else that does, please link them as well. I would love to know anybody else that's providing this kind of information. All right, so how much did you say so it was? So it's $41 is your, di your dinner dining, your table service. $41 is your table service amount, and Cinderella's Royal Table can be up to $80. So unless it was the most expensive it is, it's probably not a good value, unless you just don't want to pay, because it's costing $82 in dining plan credits that is yes that is very true oh well, you would really have to evaluate plus if i only had if i was going for a four-day trip and i only had three table services i wanted to go to mm -hmm. i would spend it instead of oh, spending out of pocket there's a question i assume it's also two credits for breakfast to me that would be the worst scroll use. down even breakfast counts two table service credits. So to me, that is like the worst possible use. Especially when you add it to the fact that, I think it's new in 2018, that you can get an alcoholic beverage or a specialty beverage mm -hmm. with that dining plan. So I don't think I want alcohol first thing in the morning <laughs> at breakfast. I mean, there are uh, mimosas, whatever, but I can't do no. alcohol and then walk through the parks all day. I can't do it. Can't do it. So if you want Cinderella's Royal Table for breakfast, we suggest paying out of pocket and then using your table services, you know, for dinner or whatever. What out of pocket cost. Up to 80. Dining plan? Two credits. Good value? No. And so the last part is time. Time. Is it worth your time to go to Cinderella's Royal Table? So that's a really important consideration. Because it's... Two time. hours. I'd say it's, it's at least a ni 90 minute minimum. Now, 90 minute minimum. Is that, an, that is and I actually 90 put minute. two hours. Okay, so that is 90 minutes at the table. Well, yeah, 90 minutes at the table. So, so I think that's half hour. Okay, so, I mean, yes. So 90 minutes at the table, plus check-in, plus your picture with Cinderella. You're dedicating two hours to Cinderella's royal table. So, even as a pre-rope drop breakfast, you would have to rush. And quite frankly, if I'm paying that much for a meal, I don't want to rush it. I I'm going to enjoy I, that meal. I don't know that they rush it, but we don't know how, <gasps> wait a second, we don't know how long breakfast t takes. It may and, not take as long. And, in that time cost, if your child wants to see all the princesses, then it is totally worth it. Because you get to see, what, five? Six Cinderella. Cinderella. You get to see six princesses. So instead of standing in line for all those princesses, you get de you get definite get to see them, definite time with them to take a picture, and you get food. And the, and the princess, I mean, they do change. So you don't know for sure which princesses, but. Yes. But so if you're going to see princesses, it is a definite yes. It is worth the time. But if but, you don't care about princesses, but maybe not. Dawn mentioned something about um, rushing, and if you are seeing the princesses, you can't rush because you have to wait till they get to your table. Yeah, so it's kind of you're giving up pre-rope drop. I mean, like beginning of rope drop ride time. Yes. If I were doing it, I would do a late breakfast. I would not use that as a pre-rope drop breakfast. For lunch, any time. If you need a quiet, lunch is cheaper than dinner? Nope. No. Same price. Ooh. So lunch. So I would not use, I would likely not use it for lunch. No. But if but I had little kids that Late were, night dinner. Late night dinner, last seating. Yes. I would totally use it for that. I would too. Because then it's quiet on the way out. Buses are all gone. So late breakfast, lunch if you need a breather in the middle. 
late dinner. I have to disagree with you on the late breakfast. I would totally still do early breakfast to get it to get it done. You and miss out your on the on those rides that are like like mine train and all those so rides. So you mean you, after ten? Yeah, because okay. I think they what time? I think they stop serving breakfast at ten forty is the last seating. So yeah, I should we okay. should I should clarify. All right. all right. So after and and I don't do rope drop very often, so I'm gonna have to defer to Christina. When does that benefit of being there? Well. Yes. go away that's a whole nother video it is but just for royal table if you were you know what it doesn't matter okay you take what time you get <laughs> I'm, okay you take what time you get i'm i'm going to change what i said i would totally do the late the last breakfast seating if i was going to do breakfast because those first couple hours are the best time for getting as many rides done. You take what time you can get for the meal that you are willing to take it for, and then you spend the next 180 days trying to narrow it down and get it to the time that you actually want it. And if it doesn't work out, then you cancel it and someone who's been desperately waiting it swoops in and grabs something at the last minute. They're like, yes! Because they didn't care about changing it in the first place. Because <laughs> they just wanted one. <laughs> Have we summarized? <laughs> okay. All right, so all this, the main information the links that you mean will be below. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And the little bell so you're notified next time we do a video. And we will see you next time.